Hey, what's up guys? This is the new Fire 7 Kids 12th generation 2022 release. So here it is, nicely packaged. So it, it essentially looks like a big cell phone because this is the Galaxy S22 Ultra and it looks a little bit bigger than this. So not terribly big, but it's also not super expensive as well. You can also place this and this kind of sticks which is kind of cool that you get different. Okay, it doesn't stick up to that point, but I guess after that point, I guess it has to pass this bendy part and then it'll stick. So yeah, that'll stay as well. So that's kind of cool. All right, so one of the advantages of this is that it comes with USB-C charging, which is awesome. So why is this awesome? So my kids love to charge this thing, the older version that we had, that I traded in for this one, which it came out to an amazing deal. And these things sometimes go on sale on Prime Days coming up. They go typically go on sale on Black Friday. I mean, I've seen them on sale, so definitely check those out. But USB-C is so much better than micro USB because uh, let's just say we went through a few cables for my kids to realize that you're not supposed to jam it in because you're supposed to push it in one way versus the other. So it's awesome that it has USB-C, it has the 35 millimeter audio input, you have your volume controls, you have your power, and you have a camera in the back, and a camera in the front, so let's turn this thing on. So I'm gonna set this up and we'll continue from there, from the screen. Let's see what else it comes with. So you get some instructions, hello Fire 7 Kids. So it tells you how to activate it and stuff. So when you buy this from your Amazon account, you can already link it to your account, which is pretty awesome. And it, 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 it's, it's awesome because it simplifies things. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So you get a USB charger, USB-A charger to USB-C, and this is 100 to 240 volts. All right, if you wanted to add a micro SD card, you would have to take this out of the case, which is pretty easy to do, except now there's a micro SD card where you can access that, pop it in here, close it back up. So one other thing that I was trying is, oh, can I make it stand like this? And it's pretty hard to do. Uh, essentially, it doesn't look like it wants to stand that way. So you can al only place it like this and it'll stay. You can also use this as a handle. So if they're, you know, the kids are carrying it. So that's kind of cool as well. I like that. Two of the most notable performance enhancements are that it has a 30% faster CPU compared to the previous generation, which was released in 2019, and it has double the RAM at two gigabytes. So this is gonna help the tablet move faster, smoother. I mean, this is not an iPad Pro, so let's keep that in mind. So some of the cool things about this is you can actually use it as a normal Fire tablet. So you have access to your Audible, Kindle, your Prime Video, and a whole bunch of other stuff, essentially the Amazon ecosystem. Now let's focus on the kids aspect. What makes this different from the normal Fire 7 tablet? Aside from the protective case, you get a two year worry free guarantee. So if it breaks within two years, you send it to Amazon for free and they send you a replacement for free. So it's the best type of warranty you can have and the fact that my kids are using it, that gives me a lot of peace of mind. You also get one year of Amazon Kids Plus subscription. If you already have an Amazon Kids subscription, this will add on to it or you won't be billed for that time until afterwards. And the pricing depends if you're a Prime member or not. If you're a Prime member, it costs less. So what does Amazon Kids Plus include? Well, you get access to over 20,000 apps, games, books, and content from Sesame Street, PBS Kids, and Homer, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Another advantage to Amazon Kids Plus is it actually filters the content based on your kid's age. So me having two kids, my younger one gets his own filtered section, and because I have another profile for my older one, he gets his own filtered section, so he gets more access to more things. Now, I can change that in parental controls, but I just kind of left it in their own age group. 
So you guys can see this is an example of how much stuff this thing comes with and more. If there's a game you want to get, let's just say I want to do like a math game. Well, you could click on the search bar, you could click on the math, and you could start playing this game. And this is kind of like a speed game where it asks you basic, you know, addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, and then you could, you know, go from simple to more difficult. You can also play easier games, more for younger kids, where they trace the letters, and you could do crossword puzzles. And I mean, honestly, there are a ton of options. Then you also get a wide selection of books you can read and you could scroll through them, you could tap, you know, different ways of going through it, you could skip pages and stuff. So a whole bunch of book choices and a whole bunch of options, again, included with Amazon Kids Plus subscription. Now, if there's something you bought, in my case, I bought Paw Patrol early on, I can go inside my parental controls and give my kids access to this and they could play the video. And here's an example of what the speaker sounds like. Now let's get into the parental controls. So you have several ways of accessing this. You can access this directly on the Fire tablet itself within your own account, or you can go to parents.amazon.com on a browser, or you can do it on your phone. So a whole bunch of ways of doing this. And based on your kid, and you know, different kids have different profiles, you can click on the stuff. You can see when it was last used. So I could see that, oh, AB Math, and it's educational and it's math counting critical thinking and problem solving basically a summary of this stuff i can go back i can check you know store i can check which apps they used i can check so if i click on apps i can see which apps they used for how long you know 13 minutes two minutes two minutes two minutes so the same thing with books and videos. So if you go to your kid's profile, you can also pause the device or resume it. I can also go to the settings of each child and add content. So I can go to add content here and you can see I've added the giving tree. If I want to add baby animals, I could add this. And when my son goes on his profile, he can actually see this book if he wanted to. And the same is true for videos, and that's why Paw Patrol was there originally. So a whole bunch of stuff you can do. Let's look at set daily time limits. So this is something you can completely control. You can say turn off by 8 p.m., stay off until 8 a.m. You can say I don't want screen time more than an hour. You could be more generous and say two hours or pretty much however long you want. You can do unlimited. So you have a lot of control and on top of that control you can say I want to set educational goals so I want you know my son to use an educational app for 15 minutes and you know doesn't have to listen to audible can read books for 30 minutes again I could change this stuff you know from no goal to three hours and then I could do apply changes I can also do block entertainment content until all daily educational goals are met so i can put short goals of yeah i just want them to use an app for 15 minutes and that's it or i can say just read a book for 15 minutes and then you can you know do your stuff so i can enable this and he won't be able to do anything unless he reads 15 minutes of books and then after that he can use it so you have a whole bunch of control with this thing I would have to click apply changes it's a very very good thing that's one of the reasons why I like the fire tablet and as you guys saw generally speaking this thing is fairly responsive I mean again this is not an iPad Pro the fact that you get a two-year worry-free guarantee it's fairly responsive again nothing amazing it, you know speaker quality is normal it, picture quality is normal but considering the price of this thing and it's actually usable and you can actually control stuff, I can definitely recommend this thing. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.